There is a new battle brewing in a longtime dispute over an apartment complex that's under construction. News Channel 5's Chris Davis shows us some of the growing pains in a city on the rise. We moved here, I want to say 75. Diana Larkins isn't a fan of her new neighbor. They'll be out there 536 in the morning running those big trucks. But it's not a problem a fence can solve. From the moment she heard a developer wanted to build a large scale apartment complex across the street, she's fought against it. We're tired of being ignored. She's worried a big development on a narrow state highway won't end well. And that is a dangerous highway to be walking on. Neighbors on this side of the development are worried that their small residential street will eventually connect to this massive development, bringing lots of cars that won't fit on their street. With the permits approved, her options to stop this project are limited to just wishful thinking. You kind of just pray for rain because then they can't work. But she does want to stop the developer from breaking a few rules. Several residents tell News Channel 5 the contractor is using illegal construction entrances and working earlier than the city's approved start time that they continue to violate the city codes you know and nothing I've called city codes over and over. A spokesperson for Clarksville's mayor says this is what happens in a city on the rise. He adds that they have met with the developer about both complaints and so far haven't issued any fines. There was a, a host of signatures uh, on a petition against this. But newly elected city councilman Jason Knight says these concerns have merit and he plans to follow up. I'm gonna make sure uh, personally that something gets done. In Clarksville, Chris Davis, News Channel 5. If you would like to read the full response from Clarksville Mayor Joe Pitts, we have that on our website, newschannel5.com.